knowing how to check the PCI version of the slot and of your motherboard is very important as this information can come in handy particularly if you're planning on buying a newer PCI component or if you're planning on buying a new motherboard and want to make sure that it adheres to the latest PCI protocol. As is the case with all PCI versions, each newer version doubles the per lane throughput rate. This table shows how the bandwidth of each slot doubles with every new generation. A single PCIe version 3.0 lane, for instance, has a throughput rate of about 1 GB per second. The same PCI lane, if conforming to version 4.0, has doubled the transfer rate at about 2 GB per second. As such, newer devices are made to leverage upon the higher throughput rate of the newer PCIe version slots. For instance, Gen 4 PCIe and VME SSDs can reach much higher read and write speeds compared to the older Gen 3 PCIe and VME SSDs. Similarly, newer Gen graphics cards also benefit when plugged into the newer version PCIe slots. Here you can see for instance that the NVIDIA RTX 3090, which uses the PCIe 4.0 bus, benefits more when plugged into the PCIe 4.0 slot as compared to the other slots. It sees diminishing performance if plugged into older slots for this particular application. Therefore, ideally, you should pair a PCIe device with a slot that shares the same version. So with that brief introduction, let's talk about three ways to figure out how to check what PCIe version of the slot and of the motherboard you have. The first method involves using a free third-party software called GPU-Z. This is the ideal way to check the PCIe Express slot version for most users. The software is free to download. Uh, so go ahead and download and install the utility from the official website. I have provided the link in the description below. Once installed, you will need to run it and let it collect the data it needs. It will then open into a window that shows you various tabs. You will need to find the graphics card tab at the top which is generally open by default. This contains various information about your GPU. You are basically looking for the field marked as bus interface, right over here. You can see here, for instance, that my dedicated graphics card, NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti, uses the PCIe version 3.0. Unfortunately, this isn't a definitive method. For starters, it doesn't show you the PCI version of each and every slot you have on your motherboard. It doesn't even tell you how many PCI slots you have. Secondly, this method does not work if you switch to an integrated graphics card. For instance, if from the drop down menu here at the bottom left, uh, I choose the Intel HD Graphics 630, the field marked as bus interface will simply be blank. So let's move on to the next method. The next method to check what PCI version your slot and motherboard conforms to is through physical inspection. You see, many manufacturers use labels extensively for the different components on their motherboard. Oftentimes, the label for PCIe version your motherboard conforms to can be located on the motherboard itself. For instance, here you can see that the PCIe version this particular motherboard on the screen conforms to is clearly inscribed on the surface. Unfortunately, this again is not a definitive method. For starters, it only works best with desktop motherboards. Laptop motherboards often do not have clear labels. Secondly, most motherboards have a combination of PCIe slots adhering to different versions. Hence, one slot may be conforming to version 4.0 while the other conforming to version 3.0 on the same motherboard. For instance, motherboard with the AMD B550 chipset like the ASUS ROG Strix B550F gaming motherboard you see here have the first PCIe X16 slot operating at version 4.0 and the rest of the X16 and the X1 slots operating at version 3.0. Hence, this is sometimes not clear from reading the labels physically. So this brings us to the final and the most definitive way to check for PCI version and that is through reading the motherboard's manual. The best method in my opinion to check the PCI version of your slot and of the motherboard is by visiting the manufacturer's website. This gives you the most comprehensive details regarding the PCI version of the slots on your motherboard. You will need to know the make and model of your motherboard in order to look up its details. 
You can find out the make and model of your motherboard by physically checking the motherboard for the model number label. This motherboard for instance clearly shows its model name inscribed on its, its surface. You can also figure out the make and model of your motherboard by accessing system information within Windows. To access system information, type system information in the search bar and access the utility. Once it opens, take note of the two fields marked as baseboard manufacturer and baseboard product to get the motherboard make and model. With the make and model of your motherboard in hand, just google it and head over to the manufacturer's website. I am on a laptop at the moment and hence this information is a bit obscure. With desktop motherboards, the baseboard manufacturer and baseboard product fields are a bit more clear. So here I have the technical spec sheet for Gigabyte B550 Gaming X motherboard open just as a case study for this video. Here I will head over to the section labeled as expansion slots. This section gives all the details I need regarding the PCI slots on this motherboard and their corresponding version. I can see here that this motherboard has two PCI X16 slots here and here. And also three PCI X1 slots. Now here I can uh, also see that the first PCI X16 slot can operate at version 4.0 if I have the Ryzen 5000 or the Ryzen 3000 series processors installed. If I have the older 2000 or 1000 series processors or the G series processors such as the AMD Ryzen 5 3400G then this slot will work at PCIe 3.0 version. Hence the key takeaway here is that the processor does matter for determining the PCI version of the slot. Now the second PCI X16 slot you see here conforms to version 3.0. There is no way you can make this slot work at version 4.0 even if you have the newer processor installed. This is due to the way the AMD B550 chipset is designed. Other more premium chipsets such as the AMD X570 for instance offers version 4.0 across all the slots and finally the rest of the three PCIe X6, X1 slots on this motherboard also conform to PCIe 3.0 so on this motherboard only the first slot can operate at version 4.0 the rest conform to version 3.0 in addition to that the M.2 slots which we use for installing NVMe SSDs also use the PCIe interface and hence they are affected by its version. The technical spec sheet of a motherboard can tell you which PCI version the M.2 slot would conform to as well. Here you can see that this motherboard has two M.2 slots. The first M.2 slot again can conform to version 4.0 if you have Ryzen 5000 or the 3000 series processors installed. Hence, you can install a Gen 4 SSD on this M.2 slot. The second M.2 slot conforms to the older PCIe version, version 3.0 and hence this would be suitable for the older generation 3 and VMA SSDs. There is a wealth of information you can get from a spec sheet of a motherboard such as the amount of PCI lanes each slot has etc. but that is a topic for another video. So I hope from this video you learned how to identify the PCI version of your motherboard and of the slots. If you have learned something of value from this video, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.